Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Draft Day Sports Pro Basketball 2022 with the, what is going on, with the Orlando Magic. There we go. Uh, last time we played till the end, or the end of uh, November, we come out of the first month and a half-ish of the season at 13-8, and eight, uh, significantly improved from last year. I still don't think we are um, contenders but I think we're close. Uh, the Hawks are an absolute monster with both Devin Booker and Trey Young, not to mention uh, McCollum out there as well. So they are just a just an unbelievable team. But yeah, we are uh, we're thirteen and eight. Um, a couple of things, I guess, just to go back and take a look at before we get started are. Uh, big free agent acquisition, Zach Levine, is averaging 29, 5, and almost 6 rebounds a game. So he's been everything we've asked of him. Uh, our number one overall pick, or I guess he was he was the fifth pick uh, we drafted. Was he the fifth pick? Was he the fifth pick or the fourth pick? Uh, third pick. Third pick in 2022. Uh, 19-year-old out of Italy, averaging 7 and 4 a game. Uh, yeah, so it's been a pretty good start to the season. Jalen Suggs, almost 16.6 assists, four rebounds. He's been good. And yeah, we're just, we're going to, we're going to play probably a couple months here. We'll probably get up to, maybe we get up to the trade block. Maybe we get up to the trade deadline. What is, when is the trade deadline? Key dates. It's like February 8th or something, right? Yeah. Okay. So maybe we get right up to the trade deadline because again, and I don't want to think too far ahead, but I'm not anticipating that we're going to make a deep run in the postseason this year. I'm not anticipating that we're going to win it all. Um, and there are some, uh, some pretty impressive unrestricted free agents this season. So, uh, and I know I talked about this last episode as well, but it could be a one and done for Bobby Portis, although he's been really good. He's 14 and six this year. Uh, could be a one and done for Bobby Portis, uh, or will be a one and done for Bobby Portis. Uh, try to move Wendell Carter as well. That'll free up twenty-seven million dollars next year. Uh, if we move on from Okiki, that's another five. If we move on from Hampton, that's another four. So we can free up maybe thirty-five, thirty-six million dollars if we really try hard. I would rather the players that I want to hold on to: Levine, Levine Isaac, Suggs, Giannini, Wagner, and maybe Anthony. But at a bare minimum. Wagner, Giannini, Suggs, Isaac, and Levine. Those are the five players, and then if I can add a superstar to that, I will. And again, just to take a quick look at the free agents. You got Jokic, who's unrestricted. You've got DeAndre Ayton, who's unrestricted. Zion Williamson, who's unrestricted. So those are the three big names. Um, Ayton, I don't know. I mean, he's looked... I mean, that, those are pretty damn good numbers but his I mean over his career he's 15 and 10 I mean I guess if we could pick up a 15 and 10 guy that would be fine I mean I you know I mean do we go you know balls out and go after Jokic I mean that's the other thing um I mean he's averaging he's averaging 32 and 10 right now he's the two-time reigning most valuable player I don't know we we, we still got we still got a ways to go um, so we're just gonna, we're, we're gonna sim some days here. We're gonna get through uh, a couple of months and we'll see how it goes. I have a player unable who's hurt. That's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go here. Who's hurt? Wagner. Okay. So let's, and Aldridge is hurt. So he can, so we're gonna start Okiki. We'll swap him out. And we'll just let the AI sort out the rest. Because I can't play Aldridge, which means Portis is going to have to play more. So maybe we do. So Carter and Portis are going to have to be out there at the same time, which is which is fine. Um, small forward. We'll get Livers a couple of minutes here, I guess. He's not particularly a good player, but you, know, you got some injuries, so you do what you got to do, right? Um, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. All right, so who are we playing? I totally missed that. The Hornets. So we're 7-1 and one at home, and we're now 8-1 and one at home. Good game for Suggs, 28 points for Jalen. 
Levine, 19 points, 13 rebounds, 8 turnovers. Uh, Suggs, 28, 11. Wow, good game for Jalen. Wendell Carter, 19, 12, and 6. Is Anthony hurt? Why is he? Why did he not play? What did I miss? Why did Cole Anthony not play in that game? Holy, why is he not? Okay, what is going on here? Swap depth for Okiki and Wagner. Now just switch their positions in the lineup. No. Nope. I got to get into the habit of unchecking this. Okay, so swap the minutes. There we go. Now we want to... Wait. No, I did it backwards again. I did it backwards again. Now we want to switch them. Oh, God, what is wrong with me? There we go. <laughs> there we go. Anthony's got his minutes now. Hampton. Okay, that's fine. We'll just head to the next game and then sort it out. Hopefully by then we'll have some players back. We're taking on the Pistons. The Pistons are 14-9. and nine. Good for them. All right, so let's look at the, the roster. <laughs> Get this set properly. Wagner's out for another seven days. Uh, Portis is out there. Let's see. So small forward. We're going to go here and here. We will make him the point, the shooting guard here, here, and here. Small forward. Uh, small forward. Shooting guard. Portis. So we'll make him the center here. And. Him the power forward. Oops, not where I wanted to go with it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, we just we don't have any big men out here. I mean, I guess we can go livers. I mean, he's six seven two thirty. <clears throat> not really a big man, but it's, you have Wagner listed as the shooting guard. No, so the shooting guard is going to be here. The small forward is going to be here. Okay, all right. Now, let's sim this game against the Pistons. We are at home again. And it's another win. 111 to 95. We're 15 and 8. Again, still not expecting us to 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 be uh kind of that that yeah, still not expecting us to to be kind of in the running when it's all said and done, but who knows, I guess. 25 points for Levine, 20 and 11 for Carter. 16 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals for Isaac. I love Jonathan Isaac. I wish he scored a little more. <clears throat> um, but, I mean, we're paying him $17 million. And he's so good defensively. You need a player like that. If we paired Isaac and um, Aiton in the front court, that would be phenomenal. All right, so we got the Wizards at home now. Another win, 112 to 97. We are playing 667 basketball right now, folks. We are 16 and 8. And guys, I will be back in just a minute. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Got a phone call from my boss here on my last day before vacation. Um, I'm going to be on vacation for the next 13 days. Um, I guess I should get into that. So next week, obviously with it being Christmas, I'm going to do my best to record as many videos as I can between today, which is Friday, and um, like next Tuesday-ish. So between now and like the 22nd, I'd like to see if I can get all of next week's videos in because uh, 23rd, I've got a child's birthday. Then obviously 24th, 25th, 26th, um, I'll be otherwise indisposed. So videos may be a little wonky next week, but I'm going to do my best to get everything in uh, to you guys so that you've got some stuff to watch if you're on vacation as well. So let's keep simming along here. No reason to make any changes right now, right? No reason to, to try to, to try to move anybody. Um, we're winning. And if we continue to win, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, maybe we can add a piece at the trade deadline. Who knows? Uh, home against the Kings. 
another win. And it's these home games, and we're 11 and 1 at home. So, you know, you keep winning your home games. If you can play 500 on the road, you put yourself in good shape. 120 to 106 here. Levine with 25. Isaac with a good game, 22 points, 7 rebounds. Suggs with a double-double, 15 and 11. Not much out of the bench. Portis has started to slump here a little bit after a pretty hot start. Um, Giannini had 6 points. Aldridge with 9 off the bench. And I think that's what we should be doing. I think we should be looking to go, when it's all said and done, I think we should be looking to go top-heavy with talent and then fill in those the, these these bench pieces with veteran players like Lamarcus Aldridge, who you know he might only be two stars, but the ratings are still pretty solid for where he is. So um, rather than trying to go you know ten or eleven deep, because you don't win eleven deep in the postseason, you go eight deep in the postseason. So uh, it's in our best interest to make sure that we've got some higher end talent up front. All right, so we can restore the lineup. Wagner is back and ready to go. Hampton, Aldridge, Giannini. Yeah, Hampton's not going to play much. Um, so let's... Yeah, he's just not going to play a whole lot. Uh, what do I want to do with him? I think... I just get done talking about how I don't want to trade anybody, but I feel like moving on from Hampton at this point is the right move. So shot player. Minnesota Timberwolves are interested in him. Okay. So he's making two million this year. He's making six or he's making like five next season. Uh do we have anybody can we just trade him for draft picks? So two second round picks for Hampton's not cap legal, right? Because they are uh, they're under the cap or over the cap as well. So bringing a veteran like Frank Mason. Okay, so the first round, yeah, I, I mean, I figured I would, you know, can't hurt to ask, right? <clears throat> I mean, we can continue to pick up second round picks. I don't know that that's going to do anything for us. Meh. We'll just hold off for now. We will just hold off for now. <clears throat> we get Wagner back, so he's back in the lineup as we go on the road to take on the Pelicans. And we went on the road, 125 to 109. Your Orlando Magic are playing... I don't want to say they're playing over their head because I think we did a pretty good job in that offseason with the rebuild. I mean, Portis off the bench, 24 points. <coughs> Excuse me. Something stuck in my throat. 24 points for Portis off the bench. 17... Our bench had a great game. It's 41-56. 61 points off from our bench. Levine with 20 and 7. Suggs, 24 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists. So, Wagner, first game back, only 2 points, 4 fouls. Didn't play particularly well, but it's okay. We keep winning. So, as long as we keep winning, I don't care how it gets done. On the road now against the Mavericks, and we win again. <clears throat> 19 and 8 on the season here in just our second year. Uh, Okiki, good game off the bench. Levine had 22, 13, and, 13, 5, and 7 for Suggs. Carter with another double-double. Isaac does what he does. 17 points, 9 rebounds, and assists, 2 steals, 3 blocks. Has that average up over 10 points a game now. I mean, if he's averaging, you know, 11 or 12 points a game, that puts us in pretty good shape. Wagner, he's only 21, but man, the scoring... He, I mean, he's shooting. How's he shooting this year? 49% from the field, 78% from the free throw line, 41% from three point. I mean, you, I mean, I, you stick with him, right? I mean, <clears throat> that shooting out of a big man is just hard to find. Uh, 
Ooh, a tough one. The 21 and 7 Knicks. What are the Knicks doing this year? Wow. How are the Knicks that good? Uh, let's take a look real quick. Isaac is, oh, he's got the flu. That's right. Uh, New York Knicks. What are they doing this year that they're 21 and 7? RJ Barrett. I mean, they're really the same team. They are really the same team. It's just their players have gotten, and Randall's hurt. I guess he's back now, so that's helped. But Barrett's averaging 23, Randall's averaging 21 and almost 10. PJ Washington, uh, I guess he's a new addition. Did he come over last year? Yeah, played for Charlotte last year. 12 points, and he's just, I mean, blowing up this year. Up his average from 12 to 17 a game. D. Rose still going strong. Evan Fournier. Yeah, they're, they're the same team. They just, uh, um, they're getting it done now. So they've won eight in a row, and we go to Madison Square Garden to take them on. And we get schmucked. 131 to 97. That is not a good game. Levine with 25, Portis with 23, Rose scores 28 on 9 of 10 shooting, Carter only plays 5 minutes, what happened here? Oh, he committed 4 fouls in 5 minutes, that's, that's something. Alright, so we lose a game, but that's fine, we had won like 6 in a row or something. We playing here, we are, we're taking on the Nets at home. And it's a 110-88 to win over the Nets, who are really, really bad, which is surprising given that they still have Harden and um, uh, Durant. I mean, Durant's averaging 21, Harden's averaging 18. Yeah, Harden's not the same Harden. Although it's like $47 million, my God. All right, well, we gotta go back and look at the stats for that game. <clears throat> Where is it? Right here. So we bounce back. We lose by 34, and then bounce back and beat the Nets by 22. Levine, 30 points, five rebounds, seven assists, 13, six, and eight for Suggs. 15 points, seven rebounds, three assists, five steals, two blocks for Isaac. Cool. So that gets it done. What are we? 20 and nine. Something like that. We'll get to the end of December and we'll pause and we'll take a look at the uh, standings and whatnot. Yeah, I love the fact that the game engine for this sims so fast. It makes getting through these games really, really easy. Yeah, we're 20 and 9, 12 and 1 at home. Make it 13 and 1 as we win 110 to 92. We are 21 and 9. Levine with 20.7 assists. Wendell Carter with a double-double. Only five points for Isaac, but four rebounds, four assists, five steals, two blocks. Hampton had 16 points in 17 minutes off the bench. He's probably not happy right now. Yeah, he is not happy with us at the moment, which is to be expected. He's not playing much. But we're going to hang on to him until our hand is forced. So when we get to the end of December, we'll pause and we'll look at the standings, we'll look at the league leaders, and then we'll sim through uh, through January as well and get up to the trade block or trade deadline. All right, so we got the Bucks at home now. That's another win, one twenty-two to one oh eight. <clears throat> Levine with twenty-eight, eighteen and seven for Suggs. Carter a double double. Isaac had thirteen. Wagner had a pretty good game. Bench played pretty well, so we win again. We win again. We keep winning. Things are looking up. Now we're taking on the Knicks. We're 26 and 8 now. They keep winning, but now they come to Orlando. And we win in a slugfest. 87 to 82. That's straight out of the 90s right there. Knicks and Magic, a game in the 80s. Levine led the way with 27. 11 rebounds for Carter, 10 for Isaac. Suggs, 13 points, 9 assists. Cool. Yeah, a home court has been really, really good to the Orlando Magic this season. On the road now against the Hornets. 
and we win by 26 points. We are 24 and 9, guys. Uh, Levine only 12 in this one. Really balanced scoring. Five players in double figures. Okiki had nine. We were led by Carter, who had a double double, 17 and 10. Suggs was 17. How's Carter doing now? 12 points now. Yes, scoring is down this year, but again, I mean, that's the case with everybody because we've got Zach Levine. Um, you have Portis with a good game off the bench. Anthony with a good game off the bench. Giannini had 11 points, five rebounds. How are he doing? Seven points, just under four rebounds. I'd like to get him more playing time. And, and ultimately, if we move on from Hampton and or Anthony, we'll have that playing time. I mean, Suggs and, and Le I mean, we could potentially have all have Levine, Suggs, and Giannini out there all at the same time. Um, that's not a huge issue, but I mean, he's only 19 years old, so you know, I mean, potentially he could be you know really really good in a couple of years. Uh, we got a game here at home again. We're 15 and one at home. Make it 16 and 1 as we beat Philadelphia by 39, 130 to 91. It was 72 to 44 at the half. Then we outscored them by 10 in the third. Seven players in double figures, led by Bobby Portis, who had 19 points, eight rebounds, was in 16 minutes. Okiki almost had a triple-double. 14 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists for Okiki. Levine had 16. Suggs only played 17 minutes. Wendell Carter, 18 points. Isaac, 11. Wagner, 12. Everybody got into the action here. On the road now to take on the Hawks. So a battle between two of the top teams in the East. And we win. We win 124-112. to 112. Wow. I keep talking about next year as if, uh, you know, we're going to need to add a piece to be contenders. Well, guys, I got news for you. We're contenders now. We're led by Isaac. Jonathan Isaac, 25 points. Let's go. Five of seven from behind the arc. 19 for Wagner. That's what I like to see. 19 and six. Carter with a double-double. 16 and eight for Suggs. 17 points, six rebounds, nine assists for Zach Levine. Porter at 11 off the bench. Anthony at 11 off the bench. Booker and Young combined for 53. McCollum only scores four points. Hmm. That's a lot of money to be paying somebody who's scoring 14 points a game. But that backcourt, man, that backcourt of Young and Booker, that is something to behold. All right, so it's December 30th, so it's almost the end of the year. So again, we'll stop and we'll look at the stats and we'll look at the standings when we get to the end of the year. We're playing here on the 31st at home against the Trailblazers. 118 to 105, Wagner gets hurt again, but we win another game. Dude, I think we lost one game that month. 28 from Levine, 20 from Suggs. All five starters in double figures. Wagner, five of eight, four of seven from behind the three-point line. Double-double for Carter. Double-double for Isaac. Suggs, 20.7 assists. And it is January 1st. Let's save. Let's look at the standings. And your Orlando Magic on January 1st, 2023 are tied for first place in the Southeast Division with the Atlanta Hawks with a 27-9 and record. Tied for the best record in the East. Tied for the best record in the NBA. With the, the two best teams in the NBA reside in the Southeast Division. The Hawks and the Magic. The Celtics are 24-9. The Knicks are 26-11. So the top four teams in the NBA are out east. And I want to look at the Celtics because, as you know, I'm a Boston sports fan. I just kind of want to see how they're doing. I know they added um, Brandon Ingram. 19 points, 5 rebounds, 5... Yeah, I mean, they've just got three wings here that are just stupid hard to play against. Brown, Tatum, and Ingram. You add Marcus Smart in there for his defense. Their two-headed uh, center monster of Robert Williams and Ennis Cantor. 
Yeah, they don't have much else beyond their. I mean, their 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 big three is truly a big three. There's not a whole lot behind them. Uh, Richardson's not playing a whole lot. Neesmith's not playing a whole lot. They got Thibel down in the D League for some reason. Anyway, let's look at us because that's what we're here to do, right? Orlando Magic, twenty-seven and nine. Zach Levine averaging twenty-six and a half points a game. Uh, five and a half rebounds, over five assists. He's got a steal a game. Jalen Suggs, 16 points, four rebounds, almost six assists. Bobby Portis averaging 13 and six off the bench. Wendell Carter, 12 and nine. Isaac at 10.8, six rebounds, two assists, two steals, two blocks. Wagner's just under 10 points a game, but shooting over 50% from the field. Uh, Chumo Kiki, uh, eight points, four and a half rebounds, two and a half assists. Uh, Cole Anthony off the bench this year, eight points, five, uh, five assists. And he's still, I mean, he's happy with us, even if he's not happy with his playing time. Giannini, the rookie, seven points, three and a half rebounds, one and a half assists. Hampton, again, not playing much, four points, two and a half rebounds. Livers and Aldridge, uh, both getting a little bit of playing time. They both play about six minutes a game. And then, uh, Begarin is, uh, once we're able to, to change our roster up next season, we're going to need Begarin on that roster to back up Suggs more than likely. Tony Davis was one of our draft picks. He was one of our second round picks, I believe. Yeah, 27th in the second round. And Terrence Robinson was our first second round pick. We drafted him right at the top of, yeah, the number one pick in round two. And, I mean, defense, inside shooting, I mean, he could be a, a good defensive uh, forward. He doesn't do much else particularly well, but we'll let the two of them continue to develop. Begarin is just tearing it up in the G League, uh, or I guess in the D League here, technically. Uh, he'll be up next year with that 80 ball handling. He'll be our backup point guard for sure. I shouldn't say for sure, because we could potentially still have Anthony. We may need to attach Anthony to a... Um, Bobby Portis to move the contract, uh, but we'll just sort of see. So league leaders, again, this is going to be a quick glance because I want to keep moving on through the season. Levine is seventh in the league in scoring. Jokic is averaging almost 34 a game. Zion Williamson averaging 28. Unrestricted free agent at the end of the season. Unrestricted free agent at the end of the season. Assists per game, Trey Young. Rebounds per game, Rudy Gobert and Capella. Blocks per game, Miles Turner. There's Isaac. He's fifth. Miles Turner averaging four blocks a game. Steals, Simmons. There's Isaac. He's third. So Isaac is fifth in the NBA in block shots per game and third in the NBA in steals per game. I'll take that. I will take that for sure. Cool. I Yeah, you know, from a, a trade perspective, I think we're just going to keep Simmons here a little while, uh, assuming we don't suffer any injuries. You know, I'm content with going with this team right up to the trade block, and then we might try to shed a little bit of salary right at the trade block just so we don't have to deal with it in the offseason, especially if it's somebody that we're not going to use. Like, it might be in our best interest to trade RJ Hampton and bring Begarin up now. Like, that may be the right move. Um, so let's just see. So we're taking on the Bucks on the road, and we have an injury. Oh, that's right. Is it Wagner who's hurt again? Yeah, he's out for seven days. And Okiki's out. Shoot. Okay. So we're going to swap Wagner and Portis. We're going to swap Wagner and Aldridge. Oops. Um, I guess we'll do this. Bam, bam. 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 Get Aldridge all these minutes. Hampton, Wagner. Yeah, Okiki's being Okiki being out is gonna be an issue. So let's do this. Let's swap these two. Wagner and Giannini. Or Okiki and Giannini is what I wanted to swap. Damn it. And then Wagner and Hampton. I mean Giannini's not gonna play the four. I mean that's ridiculous. So we'll do this. And that, I guess. And then bring Aldridge in on the back end here. Yeah, that'll work. All 
minutes. We'll run like that for the time being. We're not very deep at the moment uh, with injuries to Okiki and Wagner, but we'll see if we can hold on. Nope, we lose by, what, 35? Do I even want to look at this box score? 28 points for Levine. Suggs gets the donut. No points for Jalen. That's not a good game. Portis with 21 in a start. He had a good game. But other than that, it was pretty much garbage. So that's a game you want to forget as we move on. 27 and 10. On the road against the 14 and 22 Raptors. And we pull that one out. 113 to 108. Did I see somebody got hurt? Uh, let's look at the box score first before we look at injuries. Where are we? Right there. Levine, 34 points, 11 rebounds, 28 for Suggs. He bounces back nicely after being shut down completely. Portis has 19 in the start. Uh, and who got hurt? Ugh. Okay. Um... Swap the minutes with Isaac and Okiki, who's now back. Uh, Giannini will play a little bit more. I don't want Giannini playing the... I don't want Giannini playing the um, the four. That's dumb. All right, so we're without we're without Wagner, we're without Isaac, and Portis is probable. Okay, injuries starting to pile up here a little bit in January. On the road against the Nets, and we lose by 22. That's not a good, not a good game. We've already lost more games this month than we did all of December. So we lose by 22, even though Harden scores two points. 42 for Durant, Levine with 26. Livers gets the start because Portis can only go four minutes. Ugh. Now we'll get to our next game, see if anybody's back. Ooh, Carl Anthony Towns seriously injured with a broken wrist. 5,000 rebound, rebounds for Draymond Green. Uh, depth chart. Anybody healthy? Wagner is healthy. Okay, so we will now swap Portis and Wagner. Get Franz back out there. Uh, Isaac is out for another eight days. We'll be able to reset this in a couple of days, so that'll be fine. Um, I think I want to start. No, we're going to leave it like that. Although, actually, I think it makes more sense to do this. Then have Okiki play. Hmm. So right now, Giannini's out there only playing 24 minutes a game. So that's fine. We'll bring him out, get him some extra minutes. Then what else do we need to do? I need to get Okiki out there, but at the power forward position. And then get Aldridge out there at center. There we go. All right. That that'll work. That'll work. 28 and 11 at home against a woeful Rockets team and we win easily. Lavina's 33 points. Thirty-three points for him. Twenty-three for Suggs. Wagner with ten. Carter, 8 and 10. Aldridge, 6 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 blocks. Didn't shoot particularly well, but the bench did okay. Bench did okay, and we win a game that we should win. 
Ooh, Brandon Ingram tore his ACL. Not good if you are a Celtics fan. <laughs> I was... <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but I had Twitter up in the background and somebody posted a video of Phil Hartman and I guess I forgot to close the page and it started playing. So that was Phil Hartman. Rest in peace, the great Phil Hartman. Uh, let's restore the lineup. Um, swap depth and minutes for Giannini and Isaac. And then we will give all of those minutes to Hampton until Isaac is back. Maybe not all the minutes. Maybe not all the minutes. All right, so there's Giannini, Hampton, Portis. I get Aldridge some minutes. Uh, yeah, something like that. Isaac is listed as the sh as the small forward there. Hampton, I guess Okiki, and then like that. All right, 29 and 11 as we get ready to play in Minnesota against the Carl Anthony Townsless Minnesota Timberwolves, and we win by 10. Levine with tw all five starters in double figures. That's nice. Levine with 28, 7, and 6, 19 for Suggs. 12 and 7 for Wagner. Giannini has 10 points, 5 rebounds. And Zach Levine was such a good signing for us, guys. That was the right move rather than, um, you know, trying to spend the RFA money on Aiton or somebody like that. Because Aiton is now, assuming they don't re sign him, will be an unrestricted free agent. We can make a run at him uh, this offseason. But uh, yeah, that, that, that was the right deal. That got us our number one scoring option. Now we are on the road against Houston where we win again. Suggs almost with a triple-double. I saw 29 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists. Or the other way around. Yeah, 29 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists for Suggs. Levine only takes 7 shots, but scores 21 points. Just deadly accurate in this one. Carter, 14. Hampton with 11 off the bench. And we keep on keeping on. Taking on the Lakers now. The Lake Show, 3-18 and 18 on the road, the Los Angeles Lakers. Make it 3-19 and 19 as we win 113-112. to 112. Let's look at that injury to Wendell Carter first. Long as he out for 13 days. Okay, so we will swap Carter and Portis. And then we will get... Forward Wagner, Carter, center, 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 center. All right. Isaac is back in one day, so that'll be good. We get, I'll get him back. That'll spread the line about a little bit. Uh, let's look at the box score. That's almost something I forgot to do. Where is our box score? It'd be nice if they highlighted your team down here just so you could see it a little bit easier, but whatever. LeBron, 15 points. LeBron is down to three stars at 38 years old, averaging 15, 4, and 4. Anthony Davis with 24 and 14. Westbrook, 21, almost a triple-double for Westbrook. But they can't stop the tandem of Levine and Suggs. Zach with 36. Suggs with 25. 11 and 10 for Carter. And another victory. All right, so we get um, Isaac back. So we get him back in the lineup. Uh, swap him and him. And now we got to get him some minutes. Uh, we'll give him some minutes there. Some minutes here. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, what do I want to do? How do I want to do this? I don't want Aldridge playing that much. That's part of the issue. So maybe we do... Uh, 
ba, 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 Giannini. He is a shooting guard, so he needs to be out there as a shooting guard. Small forward. Shooting guard. Shooting guard. Small forward. Power forward, power forward, does that work? 32 minutes for Isaac, it's not enough minutes. I want Isaac playing more than that. All right, that'll work. Carter's out for about a week and a half here. Yeah, once we get Carter back, Aldridge will go back to the bench. All right, so we're home against the Hornets now. And we lose, wow, only our second home loss of the year and Wagner gets hurt again. <sighs> How long is he out for? 15 days now. Sh shoot. Okay. So we'll swap Okiki and Wagner. So now we've got Okiki and Portis as our starting front court. Um, we need to call Robinson up. Go to our depth chart. He's going to have to play. Power forward, have him play a couple of minutes here, have him play a couple of minutes here, switch to shooting guard, shooting guard, shooting guard, switch here, small forward, small forward, small forward, power forward here and here. Yep, that's what we're going to have to run with for now, I guess. A lot of injuries on our in our front court. A lot of injuries in our front court. So we lost our second home game of the year. It's a bit of a surprise. Kale Bridges, 29 points. Terry Rozier, 15 off the bench uh, for us. And yeah, I mean, we had three players with more than 20 points. Levine, Suggs, and Wagner all had more than 20, but couldn't get it done. Isaac only scores 25 points. Fouls out. Okay. That's fine. What are we, 30 and 12? Something like that. Thirty-two and twelve as we get ready to take on the Warriors at home and we win. Thirty-six for Levine, eleven rebounds for Isaac. It's nice to get through a game without an injury. This hasn't happened much lately. So Steph Curry has thirty-eight. We get thirty-six from Levine. Sixteen, five, and six from Suggs. Nine points, 11 rebounds, five, six assists, three steals, eight blocks for Jonathan Isaac. Almost has a triple-double with block shots. I'll take it. I will take it. So we'll do the same thing at the end of January that we did at the end of December. We'll pause, we'll look at the stats, we'll look at the league leaders, um, and then we will see about some potential trades as we get up to the block, up to the trade deadline. Ooh, another big game taking on the Hawks at home. They're 35 and 12. We're 33 and 12. And we lose by four. So that's fair. We beat them on the road. They beat us on the road. I didn't expect that we would be as good as the Hawks this year. Oh, uh, they jumped out to a big lead. We battled back, but they jumped out to a big lead. Lavina is 24. Suggs, 21 points, 12 assists, a double double for Portis. Another good game for Isaac. Aldrich with 12 off the bench. Oh, and they did this without um, Devin Booker. McCollum at 25, Young at 29.16 assists. John Collins. Yeah, we didn't when they we played them last time, they didn't have Collins. All right, now the Celtics. So we go from uh, a 35 and 12 team to a 32 and 13 team, and we win this one easily. We beat the Celtics by 17 points, 113 to 96. Again, they're without um, Ingram, so they're back down to just Tatum and Jalen Brown. Uh, 24 for Levine, 18 for Suggs, Portis is 13 and 9, Isaac with another okay game, 11 and 5. 8.6 rebounds, 6 assists for Okiki. 21 points off the bench for Anthony. Giannini only scores 2 points but has 9 rebounds. That's Anthony's, one of his best games of the year. <clears throat> so 
So yeah, I, I would definitely say we're overachieving this year. I, I knew we would be better. I didn't think we would be this better. <laughs> I didn't think we would be this good. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, you add that one score, you add some death, and we got the Hawks again. So we go Hawks, Celtics, Hawks. This is a gauntlet right here. And we lose again, 34 and 13. Lavinas, 38 in a losing effort. Okay. That's not us. Where are we? Right here. Devin Booker has 34. So they do this one without, they beat us this time without Trey Young. So last time they beat us without Booker. This time Booker plays, scores 34. They don't have Trey Young in this one. Uh, Levine led the way for us with 38 points. Rough game for Suggs, or at least shooting-wise. He had nine assists, four rebounds, but rough game shooting-wise. Portis with 19. Anthony with 12 off the bench. I would love to figure out a way to pick up one of those elite big men and hang on to Portis. Portis has been so good off the bench. That's just got so much value, but I don't know that we're going to be able to um, clear enough salary to make it happen. Uh, we have a game today. Do we have anybody who's back from injury yet? No, Wagner and Giannini. Oh, Giannini's out. So Carter's back, though. All right, so we can swap Portis and Carter. And then we can swap Aldridge and Portis. And get Portis out there a little bit more. Yep, have him play 22. Carter will play 32. Uh, that's fine. They'll just play livers more than likely and then Wagner's out for three more days okay let's go the Knicks at home what a tough stretch of games here two games against the Hawks the Celtics and the Knicks and we lose this one and why am I not getting the notification for these emails I'm not getting I usually you get a notification like a, a beep that tells you uh, did somebody just get hurt? Is that what I saw? Yeah, Hampton. All right, so now we're... Ugh. Hopefully we don't have any games today. Let's look at the box score for this one. So at least we have a day off so some of these players can try to recover. Yeah, it's been a tough stretch, man. Four really, really good teams back to back to back to back. Levine with 31. Portis with 12 off the bench. 17 and 7 for Suggs. Let's get to February 1st. We got, do we have a game? Yep. We are on the road against the Warriors. And we lose again, 34 and 16. So our depth is starting to be uh, challenged here a little bit. Levine goes the full 48 because we don't have anybody to play with him. Uh, 20 points for Suggs, a double double for Carter, 10.7 steals, five rebounds for Isaac, and it is February 1st. And I'm going to pause, and when we come back, we're going to look at stats, we'll look at league leaders, and we will see about making a trade and hopefully upgrading our team. I'll be right back. Okay, it is February 1st. Is it? No, it's January. Th no, it is February 1st. Uh, it's February 1st, and let's start with standings. So we are in, we're firmly entrenched in second place. We are, I guess, the number three seed in the conference. Number four seed. All right. Hawks, Celtics, Pacers, then us. Right now, we'd be taking on the Knicks in the first round. You can see we're only five and five in our last 10, so we've struggled a bit here as of late. Uh, fourth place in the Eastern Conference after finishing dead last a year ago. So Wagner's. Uh, Wagner has um, his. his uh, Feeling towards the team has gotten better, which was nice. That was something I was concerned about. Yeah, he's up to a 36. Are we still at a one with uh, uh, with Mr. Suggs? We're at a three now. Okay. All right. Well, let's look at the stats and uh, see if there's anything we can do here leading up to the trade deadline. So Zach Levine, 27.4 a game. Uh, five and a half rebounds over five assists. He's been everything we could have asked for. Suggs has had a really nice sophomore season. 16 points, four rebounds, six assists. Portis, uh, 13 and six off the bench. Carter, 12 and nine. Isaac, 10 and a half point, six rebounds, two assists, two steals, two blocks. Wagner is averaging 10 a game. Okiki, seven points, four and a half off the bench. 
Anthony seven and four and a half. Giannini is down to six point eight. Uh, Hampton is hurt and unhappy. Uh, and then Aldridge and Livers again are our last two players. So it's February first. So let's uh, let's see about maybe making a deal. Anybody want Hampton? That's not true. Come on. Why is it doing this? Let's clear everything. Hampton. I did click on him. <sighs> All right. So who's the worst team in the NBA? Can we get the top pick in the second round? Because I might be willing to just do that and just call it a day with him. So we go to the league. The worst team in the league are the <laughs> Clippers and the Lakers. Okay. Clippers and the Lakers. One of those teams is bound to want a uh, R.J. Hampton. And I need somebody who's on a one-year deal to come back the other way. We could use another big man. Matt Costello in a second. What about Matt Costello in two seconds? Wait, it's not Cap... Oh, stupid. All right. There we go. Vincent Poirier... Matt Costello in two seconds for R.J. Hampton. Cool. All right, so now we have, um, I don't know if that was the best deal in the world, but what it does is it gives us some depth. It allows us to take, oh, and they're both hurt. They're both hurt. Costello's out for 33 days, but we'll get him back. Uh, it allows us to send Terrence Robinson back to, why can I not? why can I not assign him back to the D-League? See, that's the one thing I don't fully, I don't fully understand the contracts in, uh, in the NBA, and that could be my fault. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess you maybe you can only call him up once. I don't know. All right, so we get Costello and Poirier. Uh, I think we we're gonna hold on to Poirier till Costello comes back in a month, and then we'll probably just waive him. So we're now five million under or over the cap, but again, from a contract perspective, I'm not too concerned about that. Costello will be gone, Poirier will be gone, Aldridge will be gone. Um, and then we got to figure out what to do here. Is any, I just, I'm just curious. I'm not, I don't particularly feel like trading him right now, but I'm just curious if anybody has any interest in Bobby Porter. No, no teams are interested. So what we're going to have to do when we get to the end of the year is we're going to have to find a team that either has cap money or has a really bad contract on a one year. Oh, that might be something we have to do now. Yeah, see, it's cap legal, but it's an advantage to them. I mean, I got just a metric crap ton of second round picks. Portis and three thirds for Tony Bradley. Yeah, that's shoot. Um. I'm not ready to make the deal yet. I'm not ready to make the deal yet, but I know the g game will allow me, if there's a team that's under the cap, that will allow me to just trade him to that team without getting anything in return. I don't know if that's even legal in the NBA. I would imagine it's not, but... Um, Bradley Beal's on the trade block. That's, yeah, I I need someone who's bad, who's on a one-year deal. Like, that's kind of the, the thing that I'm looking for. And I don't want to trade him to a team on my side, like Kevin Love. Okay, 
Okay, so the advantage goes to the net. So I need to add about $15 million to this somehow. That makes it cap legal. Portis and Carter for Kevin Love. Can I get... Okay. Ugh. I'm putting all my ba eggs in the free agent basket here. So if I make a move like this, Love becomes my starting... I guess my start. What this does is this moves Isaac into the power forward role. It makes Love our starting um, power forward. Field goal. He's really bad defensively. He's so bad. Can I do this without giving up Carter? Can I do this without giving up Carter? Like if I added, see, Okiki doesn't do it. Uh, Anthony, okay, so that becomes cap legal now. Portis, Okiki, and Anthony, but I don't want to give up Anthony. It's only three million, so there's got to be a way to make this work. So if I take back that second first round pick. So Portis, Okiki, Livers, Robinson for love and a first. Not quite enough value in the deal. What if I gave you a couple, I can only, okay, I can't do that. Uh, where is that pick? There it is. You have to at least come close to matching the best thing from ours. I am. So, but if I give them, or if I give them Carter, I'm going to get like a top, top 10 pick. I mean, he's only shooting 40% from the field. I would rather, I would almost rather, so if we do this, I can keep Livers because I need the body. Keep Terrence Robinson. Is there anybody else that they would want to dump? Get your Sean Tate. Who do they have playing center? Mike Mascala. Scal Labasser. I mean, he's averaging eight points. I mean, would something like that work? Love two first and Labasser for Portis and Carter. I feel like we're shooting ourselves in the foot this year. But we would get two first-round picks from a bad Brooklyn team, and give us a high, a couple of high draft picks down the road. Let's see if they take this deal. Ah, I almost don't want to push the button because if they say yes, the players are just gone. But that's fine. We're going to make the playoffs. I mean, we're with, with what we have, we're going to make the playoffs. Um, it definitely weakens us up front, but that gives Giannini and some other players um, some additional playing time. Very far apart. So if I get rid of that other first-round pick... Okay, now the Nets have the advantage. So now that they have the advantage, can I add anything else to this? Can I get Love, a first, Labasser, and Tate? Not willing to take on the contract of Bobby Portis. Damn it!
that's going to be what hurts. Um, I'm shocked. Well, I mean, I love is an expiring contract. So that's this is a huge trade chip right here. Um. Hmm. Is there any way I can make this happen? What if we remove... Jason Tate. Good defensively. Good inside shooter. Labasser is a good inside shooter. What if we remove Tate? I don't think that's going to make any difference, but... Damn. Um, this might be an off-season thing, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Player stats. Kelly Oubre. Would you take Oubre for Portis? That four years for Portis, I knew that was going to be a problem. Not willing to take on the contract to Bobby Portis. got to be a team that's willing to take on the contract to Bobby Portis. There's got to be somebody who's got a contract that's bad enough and shorter. The Bulls, the Cavs. Now they got Sexton on the block. Kyrie's on the block. I feel like Kevin Love is the right move. I just don't know that we're going to have anything to make them say, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Aaron Gordon is a terrible contract, but it's too long. What about Jamichael Green? So we would have to take on Green and Green for Bobby Portis. There we go. All right, okay, that works. That works. So Jamichael Green and not quite what I expected there, but uh, that's fine. That is fine because um, we pick up... A, so we're going to just go ahead and... Uh, why can we not release play? Oh, because we're not at our roster. All right, so that was unexpected. I didn't think that was going to work. So we will release Poirier... So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, we have 15 players on our roster. All right, so we've lost three in a row. And yeah, Portis had been playing well, but that contract, I knew that four years was going to be tough. Now this gives us the opportunity to get out from underneath. Uh, so... Green will be gone at the end of this season. Aldridge, see our payroll's down to $100 million. Um, we'll be able to move Carter in the offseason. Okay. All right, so now we have to reset our depth charts. Let's take a look at what we brought in. So, Jermichael Green, a very good scorer. Very similar to Portis in that he's a good scorer. And then Jeff Green is just sort of a, you know, Mr. Do-It-All. He's been around forever and ever and ever. So, uh, let's set our depth chart. So, we, we trade Bobby Portis and pick up. Uh, LaMichael Green and um, Jeff Green. So Jeff Green is listed as a center. Which is this? That's Jamichael. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. That will work. All right, let's go. I don't think we're going to make any more deals. I, You know, that was the big one, trying to get Portis' contract um, off the books. And I didn't think that was going to happen, but that... That was perfect. So we pick up a couple of players that should be able to reproduce, you know, 50, 60% of what we were getting from Portis. Uh, and we get to unload four years of contract. So we play a game here against the Lakers. We win 100 to 91. Levine with 29. Suggs only four of 20 from the field, but 19 points, eight rebounds, six assists, four steals. Wendell Carter, 18 rebounds. Uh, Jermichael Green, five points, four rebounds in his debut. 
Okay. Well, a win's a win's a win. We'll get up to the trade block and that, or the trade, again, the trade deadline, and that will be that. Uh, do we want to... Well, that's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go here. And I wanted to put Carter on the block to see if we can get a trade offer here before the end of the year, before the before we get to the trade deadline. I keep saying trade block, trade deadline. Uh, on the road against the Trailblazers, and we have an injury. Wagner's out again. Of course he is. We will replace him with Jeff Green. We're going to give Jeff Green a start here. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge. Uh, and then... Yeah, I need to get Aldridge out there for a few minutes. All right, we'll do something like that. All right, so let's see how this game goes against Trailblazers. A 106-101 win. I'll take it, especially on the road. Anytime you can win on the road is a good thing. Zach Levine, 21 points, 10 rebounds. Did turn the ball over 10 times, but 21 points, 10 rebounds. Jonathan Isaac with a huge game. 22 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, 3 blocks. Good game for Suggs, a double-double. Jeff Green gets the start, has three points in uh, in four rebounds. Jamichael Green, 6.6 6 rebounds. Anthony scores 10 in nine minutes. Giannini struggles with his shot. That's fine. Taking on the Suns now, who are 20 and five at home. We lose by two, and we just get a notification, so I think we get a trade offer there. We'll take a look. We lose by two. Oh, man, we gave it up in the fourth. We were up. We were down by 14 after one, down by four after two, up by eight after three, and then outscored 34 to 23 in the fourth. Eight and 28 and 15. Man, I hope he's available. <coughs> Levine only has 11, one of his worst games of the year. Suggs has 12 and six. We get 20 from LaMarcus Aldridge, 13 from Okiki. Our bench played really well. Bench played well. Let's take a look at the inbox message. Wagner blast coach. Well, he was hurt. What the hell do you want me to do? I guess he's back now, though, so we should get him back out there for sure. Let's get him his playing time back. We certainly don't want him to be too, too grumpy with us. All right, so trade deadline is two days away. We should see all the messages start to pop up here on the right. There we go. So let's take a look at what happened on that. Uh, let's see what happened yesterday. Uh, Spurs trade DeAndre Hunter, Will Magnate, or Hawks trade Hunter and Magnate to the Spurs for Derek White, a first and a second. Another good deal for uh, Atlanta there. DeMar DeRozan traded to the Pacers for D'Angelo Russell, along with a second. Dion Wright for Mason Plumley, Alec Burks and a first for Charles Bassey for a bunch of depth from the Celtics. That looks like that's it. Let's take a look. So we got a game here, I think, on the 7th, right? Come on. What are we doing? Hope the game didn't freeze up on me because I don't think I saved it anytime soon. Game looks like... Oh, there we go. Finally. Took a minute there to come through. All right, so it's the 7th. We don't have a game today. Let's sim. See the messages pop up. We do have a game today. Did I just not see it? I must just not have seen it. Man, we got the Jazz. Who's hurt now? Isaac is out for two days. Uh, Giannini. We'll get the start there. Uh, 
right. On the road against the 27 and 26 Jazz. Another loss. The Bucks trade Giannis Antetokounmpo to the Nets for James Har James Harden and a first. Wow. The Bulls then turn around and trade D'Angelo Russell and a first to the Knicks for Mitchell Robinson, Zubach, McBride, and Adams. Hawks turn around and trade Derek White for Joe Harris in a second. Celtics trade Richardson, Burks, and Louis King to the Nets for Kevin Love. There's the Love deal. Harden is now a buck, and it looks like the Bucks are blowing it up as they trade Giannis to the Nets to play alongside Kevin Durant. Wow. So the Nets have Kevin Durant and Giannis Antetokounmpo in the same lineup now. Giannis averaging 23 and 10. Durant's hurt. How long's he out for? Oh, just four days. Uh, that's a that's a one-two punch there if I've ever seen one. <laughs> for sure. Uh, all right. Is there anything else we want to do? I don't believe there are any players that we want to trade. We're 36 and 18. We've lost two games in a row, which I, I mean, I, I'm fine with it. Again, I'm not expecting us to, to win a title. We're playing really, really well. We're going to get into the playoffs, a four seed, five seed, something like that. And that's just the experience. Coach, owner wanted us to make the playoffs, so we're going to make the playoffs, and, and that's good. Uh, but Suggs, Levine, Giannini, Isaac, Wagner, those are the players I am truly looking to build around. Um, Anthony as our sixth man, maybe. Bagarin, I want to... Do I want to recall him now? Uh, I think we are going to... Go ahead and release Matt Costello. Uh, but, 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 I don't think there's anything else I want to do. We got the contract for Portis off the books. It shouldn't be hard to trade Wendell Carter. I don't want to trade him now because uh, he's been he's too valuable to the team this year. Uh, but definitely in the offseason. Um, so if we move him... So right now we're at $100 million for next year once we renounce the rights to all these players. If we move on from Carter, that's going to put us at 86-ish, 87-ish. Cap will be about one... What? About one... 15 somewhere in there so that's 32 33 million dollars so we may have to find some money elsewhere and that may be at the expense of of cole anthony or, or chumo kiki and, and between the two of them it would probably be anthony because we'll have Suggs and bigarin as our point guards we'll have levine and giannini as our twos uh, isaac as our three um, or Isaac and uh, Isaac as our three, Wagner as our four, and then if we can get someone like Aiton as our five, we can fill in around that. Okay. Let's go ahead and just exercise these options now so I don't forget to do it for Wagner and Giannini. Okay. All right, so that will work. Uh, so let's, I guess let's just go ahead and sim through the trade deadline. See what more deals were made here on the last day. Nothing. Okay. All right. So those were the deals. So we are going to end the episode there. Uh, we are in second place, four and a half games behind the Hawks. We are in fourth place in the conference, a game and a half up on the Knicks at 36 and 18. Just traded Bobby Portis, got that four-year contract off the books at $14 million, which um, uh, isn't going to do much for us this year, but it should do something for us in the offseason. So let me know what you think of the episode, guys. Um, next episode, we'll come back. We will get through the regular season and uh, see about the postseason. So hope you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I'll talk to everybody soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.